again, would you still marry her if she doesn't sign a prenup? Let me go ahead and play this clip. Don't sign a prenup. No, I'm not signing no prenup. What you got is what I got. Okay, but I, I don't understand why would you not want to sign? Basically, our it's love is your real. Your money is my money. Simple as that. Okay, why are we going straight to the money? It don't have me. All I'm doing is my lawyers are telling me that I had to protect myself, and it's not from you, but it's just it's just I don't gonna. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Everything that you bring in the house, I is mine too. Nah, cause I mean, what what did you come with? What did you come with that you deserve to think you just don't like? Like this is for our own protection. You know what I'm saying? From no. I don't care what you say. It's my money too. Simple as that. But see, the lawyer said that's what you was gonna do though. They were saying you was not. No, he didn't. So what's the point of you not signing the prenup? Though? The money that you bring home is mine too. Simple as that. In the conversation. <laughs> that's crazy. So I guess there ain't gonna be no wedding. Then. <laughs> it's gonna be a wedding. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a script or not, but I don't care. I thought it was quite interesting because I'm just wondering what if uh, for the folks that's not married that intend on getting married, what if, if you introduce a prenup, you know, y'all feeling each other and then it get, comes to that time and she says she's not signing, then what? So let me get you guys thoughts. Who wants to go first? Let me just let go. You always going first. I seen you just ready. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy. Mr. Let go. go ahead, Shan. Like second or third. Go ahead, Shan. Get it, Shan. Twice married. Twice divorced. That's your boy Shan. Twice married, twice divorced. And I came out and I'm cool with both my exes. They they are friends. We talk all the time, unscathed. Everything is smooth. Anybody that gets married from today into the future, get a prenup no matter how much money you got. If you are flat broke living at your mama house, you and your girl is living on your auntie's sofa and y'all saving up and all y'all got is two hundred dollars in the bank. Get a prenup, a prenup. The lawyers have pre-written prenups for two hundred fifty dollars. It is not worth it. Now, here's the thing. The, the attitude that you heard in that video is an attitude that a lot of women have that won't be that won't. That won't just outright say it like the way she did it, but they be thinking that. They'll be thinking that. So if you so it's two things, and I'll and I'll lead it to somebody else. One, do not get married ever without a prenup. If you're already married, you're good to go. I mean, it's it's too late. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't know if you can get a post nup. Have a thing called a post nup. Um, but a prenup, if you're gonna get married and you got two, if you're gonna get a wedding cake that costs five hundred dollars. And you don't get a prenup that costs 250, you are crazy. That's number one. Well, what am I protecting if I don't got nothing? It's so much more than money inside of a prenuptial agreement. It's more than just finances that's in your bank at the time that you got married on that date. It's a whole lot more inside of it, you guys. And if you want to have a smooth process with peace of mind, trust me when I tell you, twice married, twice divorced, and everything is good on my end. Do not get married without a prenup. That's number one. Now, if you run into a woman that gives you pushback like she did, oh, you don't love me? Oh, you oh, you think it's about me? You think I want to take all your stuff? Or you think, one, it's protecting her too. Everybody seems to think that it's all about him. The prenup is, is, a, is an agreement that simply protects both parties, right? Typically, it sounds like women is going to get over because women get over, right? You know, alimony is 97% paid by men, 3% paid by women currently, right? Out of a, hundred, a room of 100 divorcees, 97 of them are men that's paying alimony. And so women are typically kind of like taken back when you bring up the prenup part, but don't worry about that. If you got a woman that gives you that kind of pushback, bro, you got a whole lot more issues that you probably need to work out than the prenup before you guys even get married. I'll land there. Okay. Uh, let me go to Ella. What's your, what's your thoughts, sir? I mean, I was married before, you know, I'm divorced. I didn't I didn't go through that process. But I just feel like like Shannon said, you know, you should just do it. I think the modern woman, whether she admits it or not, they've been altered. And I feel like just to protect yourself, you need to put yourself in the best position where you're safe because I don't I I just can't see a person not doing that with the modern woman's mentality. It's just it's just totally different than it was years ago. When you know she just was with you because she loved you, being married to, to, in my opinion, I'm not gonna speak for other men, but in my opinion, for what I'm seeing, I don't see too many women that want to get married genuinely out of love. 
It's really for security. It really has nothing to do with affection. It really has nothing to do with how much they want to bond with you. They might want to bond with your lifestyle. They might want to bond with your income. But I don't think the modern woman is is credible enough to just go into just, you know, I love you. We're going to make it work. I think you should definitely protect yourself. So I agree with Shannon. Let me get let me get you uh king in there. What are your thoughts, sir? Yeah, man. Um <clears throat> as somebody who's currently going through one, I definitely recommend in terms of going through um a divorce, I definitely recommend getting a prenup. It just makes the most sense. Um, especially when you I have the same mindset that Shan was talking about. We got together, we didn't have nothing. I'm like, there's no reason for it. And now <clears throat> moving forward, anybody else that I would get in relationship with would have to sign it because I'm not risking anything, taking anything away from my children or or whatever. And so I think that especially nowadays, because we know that the motivations may or may not be as genuine as in the past, there's nothing wrong with it. Again, it protects everybody. And I think anyone who genuinely just completely just said they're not signing it, I wouldn't move forward. Be mad. Is, is that is that my guy King Midas Midas from a uh, clubhouse? Yes, sir. What up, big dog? What's going on, brother? How you? Good to see you, man. <laughs> I'm glad Jr. got you over here. <laughs> sorry, and sorry uh, to hear that. Uh, that you said you're currently going through a divorce. I wouldn't yeah. want wish a divorce. You know, I'm all about black love. I wouldn't I wouldn't wish mm. a divorce on nobody, man. Nobody. You know, it took me. It takes you one piece of paper to get married. Seven hundred to get divorced. It's crazy. <laughs> 700 and a whole lot of uh, 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 notaries and got to get this notarized and got to get this signed and got all this shit you got to get to get out of the government. They only take one single sheet right. of paper and one signature to get in. It's mm -hmm. crazy. It's crazy. Yo, that's yeah. sad if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the okie doke right there, Shan. That's the okie doke. It only takes one signature to get in for 700 pages to get out. Like right. that's, that's One nuts. to get in, that's one nuts. signature. 700 to get out and a whole lot of signatures well how, how i look at the all this um it's pretty much this you know I'm a, I'm a businessman i'm an entrepreneur um it's a contract with the government that's what it is it's a contract with the state is your marriage license so why wouldn't you have something in place to protect you and your partner as well i mean in any negotiation any any contract situation that you're in you're trying to find you know where your where your uh, exits are you're trying to find how you're covered you're trying to find where the penalties are and all that type of stuff i mean things about prenups is that it's not just protecting the assets too i mean money is <coughs> protecting the assets it's also protecting there's level there's different levels of agreements that are in prenups as well too you know like you know if you stay with with that person five years or more you can have a different financial incentive in there or something like that. Or we have children. There's different, you know, other things unlock or there's other, you get a different percentage of the money. Or, um, you know, if you stay 10 years or more, you get this amount. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to set it up. And you can pretty much agree on anything and put it in the prenup. And for the this modern like world we live in right now with the modern women we live in right now, I mean, it should kind of just go along with the whole boss chick mentality and the whole boss chick stuff. I mean, a lot of these women say they've got all this money. They've got, you know, a lot of different things going. Heck, this is protecting you too, baby. I mean, you might want to protect whatever assets or real estate you got going on too. So, I mean, to me, it should be a win-win. Should be. All right. Go ahead, yeah, let me throw this in here real quick. Go ahead. An another thing, just I, I should have mentioned this the first time. So I, I said there's a lot more reasons other than money. There's two. One of the advantages of getting a prenup, ladies and gentlemen who plan to get married in the future, is um, one is you make financial decisions when you guys are happy. See, when you pissed off at somebody and you like fuck them, or you, I'm sorry for cutting, you like man, screw them. I ain't, you know what? And you just, and some people can get real vindictive. Some people can get real, um, uh, shady, you know what I'm saying? They can get, they can, they could just be petty and do stuff out of spite because they hate you so much. Right now, when you love each other, though, when you guys are happy and you're making love and you're traveling and things, you guys are thinking about, you're planning your future and you kissing on each other and you're watching movies and, and everything is all good. You make those decisions then. 
and you lock them in, you put them in writing then so that in the event in the future, when you guys fall out, it hopefully God, you know, hopefully that don't happen. But in the event that it does, the prenup saves all that pettiness. And because you guys made financial decisions back when you were happy, it won't affect you when they're, when you're mad. You were mad or she's mad or he's mad at you. And somebody's trying to do some shake, some shady stuff. The other one is you're not respond. You can put in there. And this is one that I would I suggest everybody put in there that you're not responsible for your spouse's debts. So right now, if you guys get married and you go out and get a credit card, you get a credit card. You you signed your name. She didn't sign her name or nothing. But the, the credit card was open and you get twenty thousand dollars on it. You go out and then uh, you um, you run. She, no, let's say she gets your credit. Up. She runs the credit card up. She buys a, a bag and she buys shoes. She buys all this stuff. Now you got a twenty thousand dollar credit card and you owe twenty one thousand dollars on it. Right. You get a divorce that got to get split up. You got to pay half of that credit card technically. Right. But if you put in the prenup that the spouse is responsible for the spouse's debts for the first five years of the marriage, for the first 10 years of the marriage, for the first mm -hmm. 20 years of the marriage, any credit cards that she opened up in her name, I am not responsible for in the event that we get a divorce. You could put that in the prenup. You are scot free. And most judges is, is going to honor that. It's that kind of stuff that you do when you're happy that you can protect yourself when you're sad in the future. So prenups is not all about how much money you got right now. Oh, you know, uh, she don't get half of what I had before we got married. It's a whole lot more that you can do in there. And you do it when you guys are in, in a good space, not when you're in a bad space. All right, go ahead, Ricky. Why are you dealing with a woman that act that way when she get upset? Just a question, fellas. Obviously, you didn't put her through the fire to begin with because you didn't know she would respond like this because otherwise you wouldn't have married her, correct? Right? And Brandon, I'm going to hit I'm gonna hit you off with something. You said, hey, baby girl, you got access, boss, boss, boss chick shit. No, ain't nobody trying to marry no boss chick. Ain't this what y'all saying? Ain't nobody trying to marry no boss chick. Because she come with a certain attitude that you don't want to deal with, correct? So yeah, my, for sure. So, so my question is this. If you believe you got to get a prenup, don't get married. If you believe that that woman requires you to have a prenup yeah. or you to get treated fairly, don't marry her. Don't marry her. See how simple that is? Nope. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about this though, right? Uh, we can hit on it, Rick. I was there. <laughs> yeah, we can hit on it. We can hit on it. I'm, uh, can, I, can I jump in on that real quick? Go oh, for it. Gonna say something. No, no, go um, for it. I, I was about to jump in. You got to go ahead and hit it. I, I got you though. Um, I feel you though, um, Rick, but you got to understand, unfortunately, men, when they go through things with women, they they're told by not just other women, but by other men that, you know, relationships have up and downs, ups and downs. Mm -hmm. You got to go through that. Mm -hmm. So it's like either you give up when you see these things and they penalize you and say you really don't love her. Or if you fight through it, they say what you said, Ricky. Hey, why you didn't know that? This Women are fickle. They have a lot of different emotions. So it's like it takes a lot of emotional dexterity to deal with them. And a lot of times, you know, they say you got to, you know, deal with, the, roll with the punches. So a man might see certain things in a woman and instead of just throwing her totally away, he feel like, you know, I love her. She has her issues, let's work through it. So by the time it gets to that point, it might be too late. You know, it's like society just it picks and chooses when they want to penalize the man for being loyal or, or being a sucker. So a lot of men, they don't think for themselves. They feel the pressure of society. They feel the pressure of their family. They feel the pressure of their friends. They feel like, you know what? She she is stressing me out, but you know she's a good woman. She she does for my kids, so you know I'm a lover. And next thing you know, they get dragged through the mud. So it's really it's the it's it's, it's a maturity of that man to be be willing to stand for his for for what he believe in, or cave to the pressure of society. Because society, when I say society, I don't just mean you know everybody. I mean like our community. We put pressure on men for not accepting a woman 
through her ups and downs and vice versa for women. So it gets tough, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, marriage is supposed to be about love, but we all know it's not, but that's what's sold to it. But 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 what's the rule, right? Uh, what you plan for, you usually get, correct? Right? Yeah, so but you, love is a relationship is supposed to be a kind of risk to it. Understood. I'm not saying there's no risk, but as a man, you know that. And I think that's the part that we keep trying to get away from. What I'm saying is this. I'm not saying there's not women out there that's vindictive and do these things. My question is why you didn't see it early. Why you didn't, yeah, what put, I'm... Why you didn't put her through some type of uh, trial and tribulation so you see how she act when, when shit gets shaky. Well, that's Ray, true. I, I, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go no, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just going to say this, Rick. I mean, I agree with you on that piece like a hundred percent but the thing is every man don't have the the fortitude to do that when it comes to their women everybody doesn't vet in the same way a lot of people are vetting with their heart instead of you know seeing the the that woman for who she is you know like if, if if we're talking about the young lady that was in the clip in particular ain't no way in hell i would be with anybody like that period period with that type of mentality attitude all that even if it was staged or not or what have you um, but we have to be mindful, you know, women are emotional beings, so they're going to have emotional highs, emotional lows and all these different things. But us as men, we have to be the one to level set and we have to one with clear. We have to have clear minds, even though this is a matter of the heart. This is still business at the end of the day. So when I was talking about the boss chick mentality, that was more so uh, psychology. That's not who I would really be with. That's more so I'm saying that it rolls with their mindset. So since you were boss chick, you go ahead and get this prenup. Then since you all about business all the time, go ahead and get this get the piece of paper. Go ahead and get this prenup real quick. And the thing is, it's not just a him thing, kind of like what Shan was saying. Like, y'all going to sit down and y'all can go through it together. And y'all can sit there and say, hey, I don't want to take on your desk. You ain't got to take on my desk. If something happens down the line, you ain't got to deal with it. And at the end of the day, like you said, Shan, you've been through it two times. Like nine times out of ten, if you're getting a divorce, that that woman's probably not in the right mind space, probably don't like your ass no more. If y'all are getting a divorce. So she's gonna be picky. She's gonna be it's it's not gonna be a pleasant experience. All right, all right. And, and and you want to talk about, you know, you're talking about who's gonna get the summer home or who's gonna get what property, who's gonna get, you know, what car, like, yo. I've never been through it. I'm single, but I can just forecast shit happens. I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm telling I'm sorry. you. Sorry, sorry, people. No, I'm, I'm telling you from life experience. I've got divorced yeah. before. This is my second marriage. But okay. like I said at the beginning, the same way I tell y'all, I know my the, the the women I lay down with are gonna be great mothers. I understand the women I lay down with are gonna act a certain way when when stuff go go uh, go to not the way they want to. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So right. again, again, the truth of the matter is, is that if you if you feel you got to get a prenup, that did no matter what y'all say, y'all try to put, oh, I'm being safe as business. It's not business. It's always personal when it's in between people. It's always personal, right? So that's why you get raked out through the coals. You see what I'm saying? So stop with this. Ricky, hold hold so on. Can I ask you a question? So finish. this don't protect you though. So you won't get wrecked over the call. If we gonna tell no, a no, truth, no, no. If, we, if we gonna tell an honest to God truth, most prenups, most prenups can get annulled or uh, or or negated altogether. We've seen it, right? Since we want to keep using the big examples, Dr. Dre, what happened to him? I don't know what his situation was when it came to his prenup, I mean, his prenup got challenged. and all that. Yeah, but but I don't know the details. Prenup, but his prenup got challenged, and most of them can again. I'm not talking, I'm a broke dude. I don't know what y'all talking about. I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? If me and my girl break up, we gonna sell a house, split the money, move our way at the worst case scenario. I'm broke, baby. You talking about summer houses and stuff like that. I ain't got nothing to lose but time. Right? Okay. But what I'm saying, what I'm telling y'all is this. If I, if I had an inkling, I ain't talking about some stuff in a faraway land in a the, it, the, some, no, if I had an inkling in my mind that she would act that way, I wouldn't marry her. If you got a prenup, you have an inkling in your mind that this woman is capable of something like this. 
But Ricky, I think I think anybody's capable of anything. I think anybody's capable of anything. You can have a business and have a a a business. No, but you can have a business. You can have a business partner, and that's your boy. Y'all, y'all, y'all. You know, been ten toes down all y'all whole life. But something happened with something. Some contract didn't get read right. Somebody came up short on something. All of a sudden, you need to get out the business. Yeah, that's a problem. Your, your, your boy ain't your boy the same way no more. Y'all real funny now. I mean, anything can happen to anybody at any given time. So I don't put anything past nobody, period. Or, and can I say this real quick? Um, at the hold end of the day, hold on, hold on before you go in there. Let me try to get somebody else in there and then come back. All right, go ahead, Trail. Hop in on this. Uh, <clears throat> what up, Trill? What's going on, man? Y'all boys good? Nice time, baby. Yeah, Trill, what up? Yeah, um, yeah, no, nah, at, at, at this age today, uh, I say yeah, but you, but you know, again, I think it's a situation where me, I, I just have trust issues generally, so I mean, that goes back, I mean, kind of goes to what Ricky is saying. You know why? Why would you marry somebody who you feel that way about? Why I feel that way about anybody? About everybody? <laughs> it's just, it's just, it ain't necessarily got nothing to do with us. It's just a, it's, it's just a me thing. Um, but in terms of me personally, yeah. When when I got married, <clears throat> I wasn't thinking about no prenup at all. Um, but again, you know, I've been I've been on my wife since eighth grade. So again, going back to what Ricky talking about vetting. I mean, shit. How much? I mean, pardon me, Jr. How much more could you vet? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Me and that me and that woman been knowing each other since we was kids, grew up together, literally. You know what I'm saying? So even if I, you know, let's say cruise season go crazy, I become a you know hundred million up, whatever the case may be. I had no problem giving a half of it. She she helped me build it. She was with me when I didn't have nothing. She had the car. I didn't have no car. She had the place. I didn't have no place when I was in college playing ball and just trying to figure it out because they, they they wouldn't let us get no job and. We trying to survive off these stipends and these, you know what I'm saying, different things like that. It was her coming to pick me up and paying for the movie. It was her coming to pick me up and doing things, you know what I'm saying? So if my business go up and let's say some something, something happened between us and you know, we 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 go our separate ways, take it. I mean, it's, you you earned it at that point. But again, I think it's a little different from somebody who may have met that girl at 30, 28, you done built up some assets. Then, then I think the mindset changes. I know for for me, definitely in in that case, hypothetically speaking, me and her get divorced and I'm single tomorrow. Me and a woman is not getting married without a prenup. 